in from form 1 to form 2 yeah. one year umesoma shule sana two years two years eh. at this point what's the reaction of your parents walikuwa na cheesy walikuwa na cheesy mazee na kumbuka some point form 2 man walikuwa hadi wanataka kuni disown but god akanishow kitu fulani mzito mm-hmm. akaniambia when your dream is too big mm-hmm. some things are too small Hello everyone, welcome to Senana Mitindo here on Wema TV. Remember we air every Wednesday at 8 p.m. and today we start a new series of speakers and orators and we have the best of the best speakers in this series today. In the building, we have none other than Benihin Walubengo. He is here in the building and he'll be talking to us about uh, speakers and how how it has been for him as a as a speaker and as an orator so karibu sana bro kwa show thank you so much tumefurahi sana kuwa na wewe hapa i'm also happy seated here uh-huh. yes uh-huh. yeah uh, i'm happy that this is a conversation that has begun uh-huh. na utania lao tu nipige sheng kakikuja wewe piga sheng so that uh, so that uh-huh. kuna balance hakuna uh-huh. uh-huh. ngori mimi uh-huh. ni mzungu so <laughs> forgive me <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. so you can introduce yourself ile ndio kamera yako pale okay. who is benny yes. uh, mtu mwana na ku watch for the very first time okay. who who are you so my name is benihin walubengo uh-huh. i'm a student at dista first year student at dista i study international relations and uh, political science uh, i'm also the president and founder of the immortal voices society which has 1500 young people uh, we mentor each other in public speaking leadership networking uh, all for the kingdom purposes i'm also an author of a book called sprout i've also written another book called the art and the heart I, I I serve under Pastor Tim Wangi Truth Mentorship Society doing high school missions and uh speaking to young people and uh that's everything that I do. Nice. Eh mzee na mimi napenda God sana. Mzee vitu nafanya ni mingi. Eh. Umesema karibu karibu niandike inaitwa ante tuandike a whole paragraph ah, of what you do but bad. this is really nice. Yes. I've been watching you and seeing what you do. Yes sir. Uh especially the speaking bit. Yes. You're one of the youngest speakers there is in Kenya. Yes. You can tell us your story. Mm. Where did you grow up? Okay. Where did you go to school? I'm um, turning my group listening to our Baba Dogo. Eh. Uh-huh. Uh, baba dogo ni there, there, there are three levels of Islam kuna kuna low slum <laughs> uh-huh. low slum kuna middle slum na kuna high slum Allah <laughs> so low slum ni ni place yenye ni completely Islam eh hapo tunaweza place ka Kibra okay. it's completely a small uh, Islam in that sewerage system ni 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 is the worst okay then there is a middle slum middle slum ni sa place ka sisi sasa mm-hmm. kariobangi mm-hmm. baba dogo la kisama gedo sisi wote tuko hapo ndani okay. and then there is a high slum high slum ni wasenye wanadhani wako fit lakini wako fit sasa <laughs> wana jichocha <laughs> eh, hapo kuna hapo kuna 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 umoja umoja kuna <laughs> watu wote so ni grow up middle slum eh uh, mtani siezi sema ni place yenye kulikuwa na culture public speaking okay. but madhe madhe alikuwa mode mzai alikuwa karao okay. so wote walikuwa disciplinarians hapo mm. uh, na nilikuwa na grow up nikipele kwa library mm. so during that period ni grow interest ya kusoma books okay. na, na na pronunciation mm-hmm. but passion ya public speaking ili kam nikiwa class 7 mm-hmm. kuna mode fulani alikuitwa Mr Munika mm-hmm. and it are important ni sema that mean kiwa chuo mean liko noise maker sana noise maker eh, kelele singi hata kwa list <laughs> so kitu ili happen yet i remember kuna dean mean liko noise makers uh-huh. na siku shule uh-huh. And kagam mzee perfect umeniandika na ziko shule kaniambia hadi penye ulikuwa ulikuwa unapiga kelele so hiyo culture ya kupiga kelele ilikuwa tu ukiwa kijani mzee so model kwa aka notice kuna kitu kuhusu boy so kila lesson alikuwa akiingia nasema acha umsa apige kelele 5 minutes so that us tusumbue katikati ya lesson jeez so hizo 5 minutes eh mzee napiga kelele yangu na maliza na tulia then nikapelekwa public speaking my first public speaking competition okay. Kenya Music Festival. Uh-huh. When was that? It was 2013. 2013. I'm um, as a first time on stage nika pewa speech if mm-hmm. I become the president of Kenya. Ni yo speech of I kupea no kiangalia please. Nice. So natoka kwa kichwa. So I gave my first time on on stage that speech I became number one in the subcounty levels. Jeez. Ka proceed to the county, uh-huh. ka proceed to regionals. Uh-huh. Then I went to state house and gave that speech before Kibaki. Wow wow so my wow, first time on stage first time I'm doing this so it's something that I was also discovering it mm-hmm. as it's happening okay. 
si kitu ulikuwa umeprepare si kitu ulikuwa prepared for yes mm. and hadi chuo si kwa na perform fit ya such okay. so most of the time kan ya piga daro mm-hmm. kelele mm-hmm. wale machepe walikuwa ni sumbo na vitu mbili handwriting na performance niambia buda hii time unapiga kelele so unge improve and write <laughs> <laughs> so ilikuwa na handa self esteem yangu uh-huh. but your time is gone mejua uh-huh. so after sasa kuanza ku build your story ya uh, I'm gonna I'm good at public speaking okay. I already should have asa kwa ananiambia sasa mm. so mbogi yangu ya manois maker ikafurahi uh-huh. and uh, we were going into elections uh-huh. as a school president okay. Raima that is so, still in primary yeah, primary so nikiko school president still at class 7 yes wasi wakasema ujamaa kwanza tukimweka president tutaiandikwa eh. eh. so nikae kwa jio story <laughs> so now i had to give speeches on on parade eh. oftenly okay. and i wasn't good at it eh. number one i was a rebel mimi nilikuwa ninasumbua siko wa my good books okay. so kupeana hadi speech ilikuwa noma mm. juu kipeana speech ka prefect lazima useme uh, let us cooperate tunajua lugha ya prefect Lazima. i want maximum yeah. cooperation na hii maximum cooperation yeah, najua mr cooperate <laughs> so i used to give speeches on other things singe okay. guza story ya discipline uh-huh. so now i had to read a lot of newspapers then i later went to high school my mm-hmm. first school I, it was a national school maybe i won't mention it here and or to so discredit <laughs> kuna noma nilichojoa shule mazee after one month ah Yes. One month of being in school, msaya mm. melipa school fees. I believe kwanza for months wa kingenga mnalipanga the whole amount. Mm, mm. 25k plus. Yes. Umefukuzwa shule. Yeah, so what happened? Uh-huh. Kuna ka holiday kalikuanga between class 8 na msaya ingia form 1. Okay. During that period I used to listen to Martin Luther King a lot na Malcolm X. Nice. So my mind was full of revolutions. Mm-hmm. So nikiingia form 1, <laughs> tukienda kudishi lunch, uh-huh. tunapata msumari kwa food. Ha anasema hapana. So ni kiyo form 1 kulikuwa na kitu kinaitwa student baraza. Okay. Tuna gather ina inakuwa kwa all national schools. Okay. So tukigather kwa hall, mafumfu anaogopa kuongelea history ya food. Eh. Na kila daro ilikuwa ipo wa 4 minutes. 4 minutes. Eh, so form 1 mm-hmm. wanasema ah Beni ata atatuongelelea. Yes. Form 2 anasema yenyewe si tuko na mse lakini mse ataongeza tunadai. So acha mm-hmm. tupe Beni hizo madakika. So hizo ni dakika mm-hmm. Yes. Form 3 pia anasema acha tupe mse hiyo ni 12. Mm-hmm. Form 4 anasema acha tupe mse. So niko na 16 good minutes. Yes. So mimi tena niongee mbele wa sasa nda kwa Martin Luther King. So mm-hmm. shuli na kwa watu watu wanachocheka. Eh. Na naambia wa sasa sasa kama admin itashughulikia history kesho <laughs> msiende daru. Wala la. Na wasi wanafuata. It is a natural so, school. Mazi, Form 1 amesema speech amesema watu wasiende daru. Of which ilikuwa allowed kwa basic education act. Okay. Peaceful demonstrations. Peaceful demonstrations. Iko. Bora yeah. msivunje kitu mkae tu kwa parade na mm. msionge. Mm. So wasi walikuwa na nyamaza. So okay. prinsia kikuja anamwambia. So ulikuwa umefanya research yako vizuri. Ya yeah, alikuwa nimesoma constitution nikiwa unajua masango alikuwa model history. <laughs> so kejani kulikuwa na constitution ya Japan, <laughs> Kenya, Basic Education Act hizo vitu zote. <laughs> na madhal kwa ni ambianga no your rights. <laughs> Manze mimi hata sijui constitution ya Kenya kama so, maliza so, kusoma. So nilikuwa na chambo hiyo kitu nikiwa hiyo <laughs> age. <laughs> so hadi tukiwa Daro tuna lesson ya history. Okay. Then mimi nda present argument yangu. Daro inaanza kufurahi inasema mwalimu sio ukae huyu afunze. <laughs> so vitu kai hizo ndio zilikuanga. So high school life yangu ilikuwa very interesting. <laughs> Kachujua hiyo chuo batilieka sasa hanga so watu wakoenda daro kwanza tu wasa wakuishia daro so prince yaka kam akauliza wasem mbona mjenda class uh-huh. kusema these girls told us not to go to, to class so nika to office so mm-hmm. kusema ambia wasa yende class juu hataenda juu ndo umewambia mm-hmm. kwaambia nao nimewaletea issues zetu mwambia mm-hmm. story of food story mm-hmm. of homosexuality so alikuwa okay. repiwa na admin i do kitu okay so nikaambia let's respond mm-hmm. so then kasi watishia daro so nika chujua mm-hmm. sasa kachujwa kachujwa nikapewa indefinite suspension so ilikaanza kuwa kuchujwa 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 after machuo 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 so huyu prince mm. anapigia huyu anambia huyu boy atakuja shule yako is very smart mm. but very very radical be careful jeez so even though sasa story yangu i think umeisikia story ya kusoma shule ya saba yes, yes, yes. so even only nilisoma shule saba until nikapata na pastor team wangu nikiwa form 2 form 2 yes okay so mm. In from form 1 to form 2 yeah. one year umesoma shule sana two years two years eh yeah. two years ume, umesoma shule seven schools eh yeah, kuna term nilisoma shule tatu jeez one term yeah so uh, at this point what's the reaction of your parents alikuwa na cheesy walikuwa na cheesy mzee na kumbuka at some point form 2 man walikuwa hadi wanataka kuni disown akisema sasa wewe track history yako nika unajilibidi hadi change your jina uh-huh. jina yangu ilikuwa kwa blacklist ya ministry of education interesting ili bidin pele kwa ocha nikae kitu ka 3 months mtu asijue penye niko bila kwenda shule 
then jinangu ikachenjiwa sasa ndio jinangu region Beni Hin mm-hmm. wa Lubengo okay. so alitoa Beni kabaki Hin mm-hmm. alafu Wellamond so that mashule zinikubali juu ningeenda any school and say no you have heard your story and then yes. I was also going to grade debaters if you've watched the videos yes, on youtube you see there so i used ningeenda shule yote ningeenda grade debaters na nilikuwa mm. nashinda regionally so even though my principal alikuwa anajua eh ako hii region wanapigia mm. na simu mm. so hivyo ilikuwa noma so ikabidi change your digital then he rode sasa tena kwa system Hey, kuna point umesema hapo sijui kuna kuona black book ya mimi hey, kuna blacklist ukipatikana story ya kuchoma shule okay. kuwa mse uh-huh. kupiga principal zinakuwa kesi kaa tano uh-huh. uh, story ya devil worshiping uh-huh. na upatikane na weapon shule mimi sikujua kama kuna kuona story black book as in kuna black book. blacklist into Mi, blacklist blacklist eh. si tuliko tunaogopa kuwekwa kwa black book achana hiyo shule kuna blacklist ya yeah. government na ministry of education okay wata track life yako wajue mm. unaendelea mm. utakuwa na report hadi kwa kwa DO hiyo area ama chief ama DO okay eh wanaangalia records zako yani basically ni kama wewe ni mfungo ni kama ni criminal tu <laughs> okay yeah. so what happened after, so jani jani lianzi ya pen patana pasta t okay kuna dia alikuwa na preach gm mhm So e mzito ame preach ndo time sana nilikuwa nimetoka western sasa nimekaa Nairobi okay. wanatafutiwa sasa shule nyingine jina isha changeiwa mm-hmm. so bishtango kanembe kuna service mm-hmm. yo time ndio nilikuwa naishia church but okay. nikaa siko church okay. no ndo problem ya ya mm-hmm. wengi mm-hmm. na hiyo ndo nome ilikuwa pia na, church, na Moses lakini yuko church Moses mm-hmm. kuna time yenye kwa bible imeandikwa kulikuwa na vita between an Egyptian and a Hebrew yes na ndo nome ya wengi wa yangu mm-hmm. ndani yetu kuna m Egyptian na m Hebrew mm-hmm. The Hebrew person ni ule mse ukiwa miango ulikuwa nda church ulikuwa nda Sunday school hata unajua God wazai wanajua God mm-hmm. ume grow up ukijua yenyewe God ako yes. but there is an Egyptian side of you yenyewe yenyewe iko sure mm-hmm. leo unaamka unasikia kwenda church kesho unasikia kuingia sherehe leo unasikia kwenda church ku pray leo hapo uko kwa relationship fulani mm-hmm. so nilikuwa hapo katikati nilikuwa na play, na play gray area mm-hmm. leo unaamka nasikia yenyewe yenyewe kuna 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 God kuna no God. God but hii day inafika mm. ai nasikia tu hapana <laughs> so nilikuwa hapo hivyo katikati so time nilipatana t okay. kitu ili happen mm. the next weekend akanishtua kaniambia budo kwa wapi akaniambia nataka tuende mission mm-hmm. so tumeishia mission t ame preach ame preach ame preach mm-hmm. na hiyo day nilikuwa naenda nilikuwa naenda sherehe okay so ikabidi aka preach akapitisha time so hiyo sherehe wasao kaniacha hiyo mm. day ndio wasao alikufa What are you saying? Eh wasal kwa ndana nyuki. So wasao wakaishia huko hivyo zao zikashika kwa over speed kuna msal survive. All of them died. Yeah. Yes. Na wasinyo walikuwa nao sherehe wakana na gari different. Hakuna yeah. msali show up kwa hiyo barrier. Na na wenye walikamu walikamu kama wamelewa pia kupiga ma selfie waka post mara IP before dia wasao wazikwe. Watu walikuwa shaishia. So nikabaki hapo na masaa hiyo mse. Wanalia. Anasema wenye walikufa na mtoto wangu wako wapi? Hakuna mtu wa mnyadi alichangadi do. Nikakaa mkujua kitu moja. Kawe mse, kawe ni msemi yangu. Mm-hmm. Hakuna ngao beshte. Kitu ni kuchochana. Kuchochana tu. Nikapata conviction mm. that ka, nani unajua nilikuwa hapo even mwana wa sita akibeba hiyo sanduku. Mm-hmm. Nikajiuliza ah wa sita vinyo anabeba hii coffin. Mm. Ah wa sita alimbeba kwa hii life akiwa hai. Nikakaa mtu na, na nini fulani thought ikakaa mko akili. Mm-hmm. Nikaangalia WhatsApp group vinya uncle zake walichanga do kila okay. msii. Mm-hmm. Nikajiuliza wasione za changia msedo ya matanga. Lakini ndio lakini wasio zinachangia msedo ya capital ya biashara. Ama ya kwenda shule. Wasione za spend <laughs> na wewe time wapige sherehe na wewe. Eh. Kini hakuna msi atakupea punch utengeneze business card. No possible. So nikakaa mtu na, na some analysis na nikapata mm-hmm. conviction ya kuspeak ya wasio yangu. Okay. Sababu so, ndo tunakuja kwa historia ya public speaking. Mm-hmm. Before nilikuwa na bonga. Okay. But this time sasa mm-hmm. na bonga juu nimepata a reason to speak. You have an insight. Mm, Jusa nilikamkwangalia hii generation. Okay. Tunabeba nanga ufala, tunaweza chochana ufala, mm-hmm. lakini in real sense hakuna mm-hmm. msemo mwenye ako na interest za mse at heart. Okay. So so nika 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 come to realize hapana. Hapa mm-hmm. hivi lazima mse abonge. Mm-hmm. Juu kiangalia wase wa secular wameivisha kitu yao. Mm-hmm. Lakini ukikamuka huko hivi kwa church, mm-hmm. church tunafanya ngai kitu ni kama ni free time. Yes. Umerada. Mm-hmm. Bruce Lee alisema I don't fear man or practice, practice 10000 kick. Mm-hmm. 
mm. 10,000 kicks but I fear man was practiced one kick 10,000 times. Walala. So to realize mm. out of skia diamond ame hata notes zake za kuimba mimba off key. Hata hata. Lakini she a chat maoshi pa off key. Tunaoma ma off key. Eh so ni ka realize. <laughs> maze, the reason as to was wengi wana cross over kwa secular side. Uh -huh. Secular so ame vishai kitu yao. Yes. But ukikam kwa church tunafanyanga ni kani free time ni kani freedom mm. so nikaambia god ni aje ndako ni package as a voice okay aita jalisha story ya age mm -hmm. ni package so that mm -hmm. ile sekondari mama mbele ya sewa yangu mm -hmm. wasioni ni msemi yangu na bonga tena yes. so nikaulize ya wisdom mm -hmm. Then through that nikaanza ku build capacity nikiwa high school mm -hmm. nilikuwa na missions na pastor T kila wiki missions ka tatu mm -hmm. wasesa yao ameishia kupiga sherehe ma holiday ma, ma event kulikuwa na event yo time inaitwa Kito Cup mm -hmm. kulikuwa na Gold Cup mm -hmm. kulikuwa na Sunset 20? 2017 Sunset 2017. GT ilikuwa imekam mm -hmm. so wasio anaishi hizo ma event mm -hmm. na hiyo time nilikuwa kwa relationship hadi mimi mm -hmm. Kwa dem tumeka karibu 2 years 3 years. No dem hadi alikuwa ni jenga nikishia my event na nipe fair. Mm -hmm. Jumadhio time alikuwa sema mimi sitaki stories zako za kuongea. Mm -hmm. Mimi ndalipa school fees vitu zingine. Okay. Na ilikuwa tricky hadi ku break up no manzi. Mm -hmm. Tabidi sijui mbona god anataka tuongelee history. Sikuwa nimekuja kuongelea <laughs> speech lakini tuongee. Eh. <laughs> uh -huh. Na hii time nikaangalia u dem akasema okay. god hadi una juu dem ni jenga. Alikuwa mm -hmm. reason na god logically. Mm -hmm. Ini pray unaomba kwa sheng. Mm -hmm. Ambi hadi God hata unajua hata unajua hapa hivi nikaacha na umanzi kuna vitu yeah. zinyana nijenga yeah. Ode ndio alikuwa kwanza kunipeleka Safari Park na Garden City aka aka buy pizza uh -huh. pizza ya 2500 na ndio ni raisi so nilikuwa na reason na God <laughs> naambia God mzee hadi acha jokes uh -huh. but God akani show kitu fulani mzito uh -huh. akaniambia when your dream is too big uh -huh. some things are too small we nikaangalia quality ya dream nikasema dream one of my milestones ni kuwa president wa Kenya. Uh -huh. Nikaangalia state house. Mm. Nikaangalia UDEM. Kajiuliza kati ya state house. Ukawe. Na huyo UDEM. <laughs> Gani mzito hapa? Ukakataa pizza ukasema state Kacha, house. Kachagua tu state house. So nikaanikaambia tu UDEM simbo nikaambia mazee relationship imekuwa fit by this time. Uh -huh. Kuna conviction ya generation na lazima mm. niches. Mm. So during this period mazee nime, nimeanza ku pick up shule kila okay. kitu at least na kaiko mm. fit. Mm -hmm. uh, nimekuwa di school captain shule hii shule nimeenda nimetulia. Which school is this now? Inaitwa Embu High. Embu High. Eh hapo ivadi nikapigwa di leadership wa CU. Okay. So th things ukaanza ku pick up. So nikafanya KCC the first time mm -hmm. had a C minus mm -hmm. na nikajonyo njio kusoma chuo mo sikuwa ngadi na notes. Sikuwa mm -hmm. nime understand concepts. So nikamwambia mm -hmm. madhendo dishe shule. Mm -hmm. Aka akakubali waka grims aka nipeleka Mm -hmm. Na when li shei shule ni promise kitu moja. Mm -hmm. Kaji ambia one nenda kutulia namba two nenda ku serve God. Mm -hmm. So niambia God na rudi shule ka assignment. Okay. Kuna difference ya uki handle kitu mm -hmm. juu ya needs. Mm -hmm. Kuna difference uki handle kitu juu ya assignment. So there's a difference between needs yes. and assignment. Wacha tu begin hapo. Uh -huh. Kuna wasee wawili wa media. Okay. Kuna msee anapiga media juu ni job. Mm -hmm. Kuna msee mwenye anapiga media mm -hmm. juu ni assignment God amempea. Nice. Huu mse mwenye anapiga juni job mm. God atafeed ata needs zake. Huu mm. mse mwenye anapiga juni assignment mm. God atafeed future yake. Nice. So nice. kitu wana, wina happen mm. ukikuja hapa hivi kaa job okay. God atakupea rent. Mm -hmm. Atakupea doya food. Okay. Atakupea what you need. Mm -hmm. Ukifeed God juni assignment mm -hmm. wanakupea what you even don't need. Saimi niko 20 years old, si ndio? Yes. Niko first year campus. Mm -hmm. Next week tuna host event ya kuleta wasethao ya public speaking. Mm -hmm. Now event mm -hmm. wase wenye wanabonga ni Pastor T, Burale, tumeita wase wa Ghana. Mm -hmm. Event ime cost almost half a million. Wow. I've not used a single coin. Mseli ni watch kutoka Ghana. Mseli yake kadoko account. Jeez. Yes. From Ghana to Kenya. Eh ni mseli amekuwa kicheki kitu na do. Nice. Sijaenda ku pitch, sijaenda boardroom, mm. sijafanya kitu yote. Because of the assignment. Exactly. Juu kifanya assignment mm. una capture heart ya God. Na once usha capture heart ya God, hakuna kitu iweze kukupea. Manje sijui sijui mimi ndio nimekuwa motivated ama nimekuwa inspired. <laughs> so hiyo ndio kitu ina happen. Uh -huh. So after sa kuacha na UDM, nice. uh, ndio hiyo napiga malap na T. Mhm. Uh -huh piga matok kwa ma, kwa tunapiga na kwa na matok kwa machu so na andika tu vitu zao msema anasema mm. so umse alikuwa na preach na passion mm -hmm. so hapo hivyo naweza begin kwa story pia mentorship okay. story to si story yawe kwa mka na kubonga okay. at some point lazima utafute mse mwenye unaweza walk naye mm -hmm. umse atakuguide juu nilikuwa tembea na tea sometimes mm -hmm. tungeenda place tea analipwa do mm -hmm. aniambia account that money na account mm -hmm. do ananiambia life is more than money let this never be the motivation mm -hmm. 
So, so money should not be the motivation yes, of yes, doing anything. Yes. Yes, na hapo hivyo ndo naona wase wase wengi wa generation yetu mm-hmm. wamehata. Mhm. Wana that, ni do ndio kila kitu. Eh, wase wanafanya vitu juu ya do. So mm-hmm. ukiambia msemi yangu, mm-hmm. maze kuju serve church kwa praise and worship <laughs> ama kwa media. Anakuuliza atanilipa do ngapi? Yes. But umse ana sahau, mm-hmm. siku moja utaserve kwa hii media. Yeah. Kuna mzito na kuanga kwa hiyo church. Mm-hmm. Na hiyo mzito na joana na mse wa media. Mm-hmm. Na umse ange kusot internship. Kuna uneza serve church ka present worshiper. Mm-hmm. Uimbange tu hivyo masongu zako. Mm-hmm. Day fulani kuna mzito wako hapu hivyo. Anajuana na mse yako na studio. Mm-hmm. Iyo pesa ulifa ulipe ya kurekord. Mm-hmm. Auta lipa. Mm-hmm. Juhu mtu atakuliza. You have a very good voice. Have you ever recorded a song? Mm-hmm. Kuna, kuna blessings na kujana kujituma. So you need to change our mindset. Exactly. Doing things from story ya story ya do this more to life. Mm-hmm. Ila ifu kianza kufanya vitu mm-hmm. na motivation ya chekua do. Mm-hmm. Hakuna place auta ishia. Jusa unanaita ima after ku work na pastor T. Okay. Kuna time nilianza saa kupiga matoko ma children's home. Mm-hmm. Na ishia na bonga ulipu anything. Mm-hmm. Iyo likuwa kaa tizi. Mm-hmm. By the time na ingia from four time ya COVID. Mm-hmm. Nika wakia Dr. Chris Kirubi. Mm-hmm. The, the one of the richest guys in Kenya. Mm-hmm. Center. Kwa na muandikia speech asubuhi tulikuwa tulikuwa wasewa tatu kwa interview. Haka tuliza how can I help you. Mm-hmm. Tusia kwanza kisema ndaka 150k ya fungwe movie shop. Haka pewa. Mm-hmm. Msewa pili ya kisema ndaka job center. Mm-hmm. Mse mungine pia alikuwa hapo hivyo tulikuwa actually wasewa nene. Mse moja kisema ndaka picha. Wakapiga picha. So mivi nyilifika kwangu nilishindo. Ah se wote wa shomba kila kitu. Mm-hmm. Nikaona siyezi muomba do. Mm-hmm. Siyezi muomba job. Lazima ni kwe different. Na siyezi muomba scholarship sa iju niko high school. Nikasema I want to be working with you every day. Ukiingia kila meeting niko hapo nimeka. I want to learn. Interesting perspective. So akasema are you sure you'll be waking up at 4? Nikamwambia yes. Are you sure you'll be sleeping at 11? What? Yes. Akaniuliza will you read the books I'll tell you to read? Yes. Akasema sawa how much do you want me to pay you as a salary? Kaambia just learning. Akaniambia now I'll give you an opportunity you'll be accessing everyone. What will you give me in return? Kaambia I'll be giving you three things. I'll be praying for you every day. Uh-huh. Kwa nakupigia story. Uh-huh. And I'll make sure that I impact a generation out of sitting with you. Jeez. Akisema, let's begin. So nilikuwa na, na kujua na ndai 3.30. Uh-huh. Four niko to rivers. Uh-huh. Nenda na mzito. Uh-huh. Ako hapo hivyo meeting. Mina andika notes. Uh-huh. Na learn. Uh-huh. Before Chris a dead, ya liniuliza, what can I do for you? Uh-huh. Tulisha na prestige bookshop. Uh-huh. Kambia, just buy me 49 books. Nili buy books za leadership, public speaking, biography, books za faith. And during that period ya COVID, nili soma books. 49? Yes. So during that period, I read a lot of books. Read a lot of books. Nika expand capacity yangu. Mm. So I could throw myself in the corporate. Nili kanza kutafta opportunity saa kuangia corporate sasa. Mm-hmm. So nili enda KCB, nika ulizi opportunity ya kuunglesha sales team. Mm-hmm. Wana ninyima. Mm. So day flani nika amuka, nika ambiwa CEO wana, wana kuja job 4 a.m. 4 a.m. So nili amuka asubui ngware. Mm. Nikajua kuna gate nye CEO anapitia gate C. Mm-hmm. Na unilijua aje, nilikuwa na gate yanga watchman. Allah. So wachi akaniambia, akaniambia hiyo ndo gate mkubwa wanapitia. So four ndo hiyo mimi kwa gate. Mm. Nikaona range na kama kasimama mm-hmm. mbele andai. Mm. Kasema inda ya ipiti. Mm. So dere akazusha akazusha toka mbele mkubwa akasema acha niongeleshe ukijana. Mm. So nikazunguka nikaambia mkubwa mazemi nitaka opportunity ya kuongelesha watu wako. Sitaki kitu kingine. Mm. Akaniuliza how much will I should I pay? Nikamwambia sitaki do ta mm. kuona kan kofiti mm. kan kofiti tena mtani haya kas kofiti nda kwa nice. na hapo hivyo ndo nda kupiga nini flani wisdom flani niliambiwa if you're not earning you're learning if you're not earning you're learning, you're learning. nikaishia hapo ngapiga toki yangu nikajua oh juliona asa wanaandika notes asa nauliza how old are you naambia 19 wanaandika notes mm. wasa walitoka hapo na notes nikasema kumbe i'm loaded jeez so nikajua i'm fit in the corporate at 19 you gave a speech where people are taking notes eh. people are older than you yeah so nikapatiwa job goals consultancy uh-huh. corporate uh-huh. so nilikuwa naenda kupiga ma talks kwa ma board of directors kwa masako nini nini so nikapata hiyo mm-hmm. experience sasa nice so hiyo ndo public speaking journey yangu then mm-hmm. sasa sasa niko na foundation after high school yes Ah uh, nikaona foundation ina train wa public speaking. Okay. So tunakuwa na kitu master class after every two weeks tao. Unaweza wape details zote hapo. Na naweza wapiga AIC milimani. Mm-hmm. So tunagathanga tu ase tunafunza public speaking about 300 guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, so tumeshamaliza seven classes. We have an eighth class in the next weekend 26th. Mm-hmm. Nice. Then we do a graduation next month mm-hmm. at Nairobi Cinema gathering 1000 people for nice. the first time in this country. Mm-hmm. So tuko na hiyo hiyo ndo kitu sana tunataka kudu fanya nice. tu crazy stuff 
to inspire faith in a generation, to raise many kingdom orators, mm. na to build a culture and a art. So yondo tunaduma za hivyo ndo jani mekua. You are one of the very youngest orators. Alafu pia napenda confidence yako. Yes. So what's your vision for yourself and even for this nation because na feel mm. na feel nimependa the fact that umesema ulisema speech mm. uh, about if you were the president mm. so what's what's your vision for this nation and do you think that there is going to be a change even in the leadership mm. and what is happening in Kenya now at this point well my vision as a person eh, okay ni ni ku build ni ku build at your public speaking Kenya okay such that wasewa takuwa naongeaji wako na kitu ya kuongea mm-hmm. because knowledge is knowing what to say okay. wisdom is knowing when to say mm-hmm. and then another thing also ni kubuild wasinyo wako na value na god mm-hmm. that unaweza kuwa at your highest peak of success but to acknowledge god. god yes mm-hmm. na si kuongea tu mm-hmm. wasewa juu god that utakuanga msewa media unamaliza kusoma news cv unaita mm-hmm. na alta call Jeez. So I'm how many want to give their lives to <laughs> Hallelujah. Christ. So that's that's what I'm envisioning and also okay. to build leaders. So nice. we have our vision 2029 to build a school in Kilifi. Mm-hmm. It will cost us almost half a billion. Okay. Right now we're in phase one of the vision mm-hmm. to buy a van, mm-hmm. buy cameras and sound. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're almost finishing 80% phase of phase one mm-hmm. uh, so that you can start moving in schools and also to bring back high school competitions for public speaking okay uh, gathering guys in tents so we are partnering with pastor Tim Wangi he has okay. a 10000 seat tent mm-hmm. to gather his schoolers once again for public speaking and revival so nice. an event ya skuta to the first day mm-hmm. we train leaders second day public mm-hmm. speaking third day tunaita mm-hmm. pastor Tia pigiwa say revival nice so nice. that's my vision to mm-hmm. build a school then mm-hmm. the the other thing as a leader now mm-hmm. Uh, by the time we build leaders i don't okay. want to grow alone mm. because you can never bring change alone change mm. begins with one person but change is not sustained by one person it's sustained with an army nice. so i want to grow up with a generation so mm. that ni your parliament kiongea against corruption mm. kuna wasekaa tu so kama ni eh so that utakuwa beaten up mm. so that's what we are looking forward mm. i'll be running for president before 45 years old before 45 years yes. old when yes. is that in the next years to say me na watch na na learn mm. from us and you're ahead of me uh-huh. there's something to learn about them nice. these are guys who have also labored mm. and i'm also serving under fathers praying a lot uh-huh. because i'm building spiritually your character uh-huh. na build financially uh-huh. because the bible says the wealthy shall rule Mm-hmm. So wezi so enda wezi uh, wezi enda kwa umesota. Hapo <laughs> hivyo yeah. you, you can't tell Kenyans you'll fight corruption uh-huh. and you've never handled money. Tricky sana. Eh. Tricky Una ukitaka kujua msee yako humble uh-huh. wacha pepe pesa na power. Uh-huh. Ukisema uko na humility <laughs> na umesota. Pesa na power inachangia. Eh, ukisema uko na humility <laughs> na umesota. Hiyo msoto ndio inafanya uko humble. True. Eh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Lakini ukisha handle pesa uh-huh. na tuone uko uko humble. Ah, mm. woko humble. Unafanya di producer yango cheke cheke behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I love your perspective and I believe if these are the kind of people that we have now in this generation, yes, sir. there is hope even for our nation of Kenya. I am as a hope Kuna hope. Yes. Kuna hope. So, uh acha tufanye segment. Ini ini basic. This is out of the serious beat in yes. it to uh. So, ukienda ukifanya your talks mm. and uh, in different spaces in the different schools you've gone to. Yes sir. Which is one of the most embarrassing moment maybe you may experience. Eh hey, man kuna day nilikuwa nimevaa suit double breast. <laughs> na sikuwa nimecheki, sikuwa nimeona na zip, kan nimefunga. So, ah, I realize nikiwa mbele, boys wangu aniambia kiwa hapo chini. Yeah. So it be in a clear situation can be say mm. close your eyes I want you to think of your vision I want you to think of think your of vision your so you have a match kafunga zip mbio mbio kasema no one should open their eyes close your eyes I want you to focus was it a, 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 a man's meeting ama madem madem nilikuwa na piga talk set of girls Allah <laughs> come close your eyes uh, everyone even right, teachers right close your, your eyes <laughs> think your about vision. your vision <laughs> 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 Hadi teachers wafunga zip. Ai kafunga zip ndio. Kila mtu alibidi afunge macho. Even we, teachers. We, we. Yeah. Hey. So uh, acha tufanye hii segment ingine. Hii ni pop quiz. Yes. So what's your favorite food? Ame apenda chapo minji. Chapo minji. Uh, any day, any time. Uh, you can pay any day. Ah uh, okay. Favorite destination in Kenya. Mm. Intrigue. Mm. 
unajua sija travel sana mhm acha ni travel sana ndajibu hiyo swali hautaki ku Zain kusema favorite sijatembea vizuri Kenya unaweza sema tu yote kwenye una okay tukikwambia kama sana napenda na nyuki na nyuki na nyuki kuna place inaitwa Abadeas man ukishi huko utasikia kubaki huko okay it's a nice place it's a nice place ah okay mwenye sponsors wa sana na mitindo beni hii napelekwe na nyuki yeah. <laughs> okay so favorite mobile application on your phone mm, tiktok tiktok mm. uh uh-huh. what do you enjoy doing apart from now what you do movies mm-hmm. skating okay or going to the cinema mm-hmm. just relaxing mm-hmm. i enjoy meditating and just sitting alone mm-hmm. uh, that alone time is very good working out also okay uh, na kula snacks na kupiga story nice yeah. haya do you have a pet or what's your favorite pet Mm so say una jot nishko nishko bed seat uko shule so atwezi kwenye ndao moka ndeka i'll just put a dog i love i love dogs you love dogs yes nice thank you so much for coming to our show hadi mimi nafaa kusema asante eh tumemaliza tu hivyo yes tungefaa kuendelea kidogo sio it was it was really interesting yes, thank you so much for coming yes, so you can share your social media handles to maybe someone who wants to invite you to mm. give a speech in a place or in an event a corporate function mm. uh, you can give your details okay for the gram benihin underscore lubengo benihin b e w n y h i w n b e w n y h i w n benihin underscore lubengo tiktok same benihin underscore lubengo facebook benihin lubengo uh, youtube voice of benny voice of benny bengo mm. voice of benny bengo mm. uh, my contact 0775 976643 0775976643 Thank you so much bro. Yes sir. Karibu sana. See you next time. Wazi man. Ah uh, that was all from us here at Sanana Mitindo. Manzi tumekuwa inspired. Tumekuwa inspired kabisa kabisa kabisa. Kila mtu ako studio leo tumeteka, tume tumejibamba and I believe hapo at home pia ume, umefurahi sana ku with Sanana Mitindo. So you can't afford to miss any episode of this series. It's a new series on orators and speakers in Kenya so see you next time here on Sanana Mitindo on Wema TV at 8 p.m. Wednesday